so we got a little bit of the, what happened in the game. You got an idea of what happened in the game and with who, how Phil was. Touch very, very briefly on Michael Jordan because I think everyone knows Michael Jordan. He is just a complete player. Complete player. He is athletically extremely gifted. He defends like a madman. He is obsessively competitive and will continue to improve himself. Uh, is completely clutch, your favorite word that is not used at all, you think, in football. He's, he's a ball handler. He can take over the game. He's everything, honestly. He's pretty much everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Messi, Ronaldo, Pele, everyone. He's, he's all of those. He's all yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. So. He, I, th- I think from a sportsing perspective, like he... Yeah, I guess you've got to put Messi in there because of the challenges of like who's the greatest of all time, and I think most people would give it to Messi. Um, but from a like personality point of view, from the way he looks on the court, for me, it's it's definitely Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, he's a very um, personality wise more Ronaldo for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and he, 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 even even he plays like Ronaldo. Yeah, he plays bit, like Ronaldo. But in that in that kind of it's it's all about the winning. It's it like winning, winning, winning. Whereas with Messi, sometimes you know you do get this slightly more altruistic team based. I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas uh, yeah. Michael Jordan's just a single-minded kind of. Kind of and I thing. think as they got older too, they played even more similar. When Ronaldo became more of a target man, you know, in his older days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's that as well. Yeah. And and Jordan was less about his athleticism, more about his, his, his tricks and using his, his size against younger, uh, smaller mm. guards. But um, they both found ways to win. Uh, Ronaldo's a little bit, I think, too uh, aware of his greatness and his personality. Like Jordan, Jordan was- Jordan wasn't? Well, he, okay, maybe aware is not the right word, but he just, uh, Ronaldo seems to buy into his hype too much, buy into his icon. Like he just, just feels a little bit more artificial than Jordan. I don't know, but I think this part of it was in the nineties. You didn't know everything about Jordan. Ronaldo's, you know, we're, we're all millennials now. And we can all, we can see Ronaldo on Instagram every day and whatever. So it's a little different, right? Because that's the thing. So what you're saying is maybe if Michael Jordan was around today, we would not love him as um, much. Absolutely. We wouldn't love him as, as much because he'd be on Instagram, he'd be doing this, yeah. he'd be doing that. It, it's like this self-marketing thing, right? Yeah. Whereas I guess there's a feeling in the '90s that the marketing around Jordan was almost like other people marketing him. For. Yeah, it was the mystique. He was he was a he was a god. You know? Yeah. Maybe. And yeah, okay. And his his faults were hidden. And they were able to be hide those. We wouldn't be able to hide. Those. Everyone would be like taking pictures of him gambling at like 3 a.m. in the morning in Atlantic City before a big game. Like, you know, <laughs> then we'll talk about it all the time. Anyways, we're moving on from the god and we'll go to yeah. the demigod, Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen who is, I, re- I, really like, I really like this guy. I felt he's really, the best. Yeah. I felt a real affinity with him for some reason. I, I think if you like passing, you know, you like team play, this is your guy. Mm. You know, he's the best way to compare him is the complete midfielder. They're just really the complete player minus this one little bit, which is not the most alpha takeover mentality, not the best ultimate scorer. Other than that, he can do oh, everything you need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can play all these different positions, small yeah. forward, point guard, power forward, shooting guard, because he's, he's tall and he's long, you know? And so, so positionally, you'd say Michael Jordan was basically a center forward, a striker, like as a footballer. You know, I was thinking yeah. a little bit of this a little, a little more, and I know I talked to you about that in the past. I think, I think I would put him on the wing, and I think because I feel like watching the wing, you see a lot of the isolation movements, right? Like it's like that that isolation ability is like the quintessential so, so, Michael Jordan. So, movement. whereas would you say that that is it? Am I thinking of Horace Grant? I'm thinking maybe of Horace Grant. Maybe Horace Grant is more of this center forward Sergio well, let's, Aguero. Let's get into this. We, let's get into this. Uh, uh, I created a uh, starting 11 right, yeah. for, for the Bulls. And Oh, Horace Grant's a center back. Okay, yeah, I got that completely yeah. wrong. So uh, here, here I, uh, I have Jordan as a, as a striker. Uh, just because I struggle with this a lot. But I think depending on the situation, you can move him out wide. You could put Kukoc up front, maybe, or, or Pippin, or something like that. But uh, he's just—you want your best score to be up front. E- e- either way, Jordan is the Cristiano Ronaldo. Whether you put Cristiano yeah. Ronaldo on the wing or yeah. or up front, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and so the spine is really what we're we're going to talk about today. The the wing guys. I mean, Kerr will talk about a little bit just because he's uh, important as a coach. But 
these other guys on the wing, uh, you know, they're here to spread the floor. That's how we call it basketball, right? So they're here to provide width, uh, to cross the ball. In. That, that's kind of the analogy is just like give space so that Jordan can do his thing. Mm. That's like, that's the main goal. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much, but the midfielders are for the guys who are versatile, who can do a lot of different you know, roles. You can be a forward, you can be a guard here. Depends on the player. Um, and the center backs and the goalie keeper would be your, 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 you know, your biggest guys, your physical defenders. So I put, I put Grant, Cartwright, and Long. I'm surprised you've got Rodman in the like Kante role we'll talk rather, about that. Than, rather than a center back. Yeah, we'll talk about that. And uh, we'll get to that in a second. Pippen, you could honestly move Pippen anywhere. You could have him. If you want him to be guarding the opponent's best player, like he did against Magic Johnson in the finals, mm. you have him defensive mid alongside Rodman, right? Just, just killing it. And then transitioning, kicking it out to whoever on the wing. Or on yeah. The wing, right? You could have him forward more if you want to be aggressive with Kukoc and have him as a wall score and run into the box. He can do everything, honestly. So great player. Great player, known for his defense, known for his versatility. Um, I compare him to uh, Cruz yeah. and Stevie G, which uh, you consulted me on before. So, yeah, de- definitely Stevie G. It's got to be. Yeah. Uh, I, guess, I guess the thing with Cruz a little bit was that he's a little slower, and I really want to emphasize that Pippin is an athletic freak. Like, I, I wanna, I'll play a couple of clips of him here. Um, yeah. And yeah, and yet you say he's a little slower. No, did I say that he's not slow? No, he's no, not. What, what did you What did you say? He's a little. Slow. He's not a great scorer. Scorer, scorer. He can't okay, shoot okay. very well. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. You know, so I mean, you say okay. he can't shoot very well, not as well as a striker. Not as, as well, well as well. not as well as a yeah exactly like <clears throat> at the peak powers at the superstar level, he's not a consistent shooter that I would say is one of the best. He's definitely... He scores like a midfielder would in football. Yeah, bro. Like a, like a, like a yeah, yeah. Like a right. good scorer from the midfield. You know, that's how I would rely on him. Because even, in even in the year that Michael Jordan wasn't playing for them and he, Scott he, Pippen had to step up, did he step he did. up? He did step up. He did step up. Uh, so a little, never, like, a little bit like reached. Steven Gerrard then. A little bit like yeah. Steven Gerrard when actually Steven Gerrard had a I think this is what you remember of Steven Gerrard because I remember him as a defensive midfielder like yeah. from his early days, right? Yeah. And then later on, he started pushing further forward. And so I think when you started watching football, he was very far forward. And in fact, he almost played striker for Liverpool for like maybe a season. Right. Like second striker. I remember Steven Gerrard for his like cra- crazy long shots. And yeah, you know, his like his him being this like legend captain heart of Liverpool and stuff like that. So could could Pippen do that? Could Pippen do the three pointers? Not consistently. Not he was not I would yeah, I mean he could shoot some, but uh it's not a strength. But not not not, not exactly a weakness. <clears throat> like you would have to still respect it. Like mm. you you can see here he was able to shoot make that one. But again if I would highlight his strengths it's not it's not a strength. It's this like you, you see this. It's, it's this stealing the ball, taking the ball away from the opponent, just dunking it with his length and strength. That's, that's what makes him fearsome, you know? Okay. That's what makes him fearsome. Is, um, is Pippin so good a player? Like, I know people rate him so hard, right? He's like this number two to Jordan yeah. as far as the NBA, like the balls are concerned. Yeah. Um, is Pippin so good that in your all-star team of all time, you'd have him in there? Very good question. Very good question. And I would say yes. And here's why. It's not because he's one of the five best players of all time, but because he has the mentality to be a supporting player. So if I'm going to have, you know, one of the, if I'm going to assemble the best team of all time, I need a guy to mm. be able to sacrifice. What, what would be your best team of all time? Good question. My best team of all time would and be... And give me their positions as well, like if you can, if you can map it. like. On yeah. The... Um, I don't have a way to really uh, example. Yeah, so, so, so do, they, do they not do this in, in basketball? Like you see the I team look, sheet at this the start thing, and it's this, got like I a would, formation. There's no formation because the formation isn't really as important in basketball. Really? There's no, forma- there's no formation There's no, There's no like, oh, they're going to play a 
one, two. So here's the thing. Um, there are, there's, so formations are really important, especially structure for defense, right? Like that's super important for, for football. It's like maintain your form to make sure that. So, so in basketball, formation is important. Uh, formation is important for defense. So mostly <laughs> on the collegiate and amateur level because in the professional level, they can exploit those too much. So you need to play man. You need a man mark. Man marking is basically it. Okay. Man marking is 95% of the defense. Sometimes they will play zone defenses for specific occasions. Um, like after okay. timeout, just to... But so, but so like, so, so Pippin won't occupy a particular space in the court. Michael Jordan won't occupy a particular space in the court. They will... <laughs> the football pitch, because I, actually, I tried looking for a build lineup for basketball. I couldn't find one, actually, which is unfortunate. <laughs> so if I was just to do five, let's just do the five-a-side instead, right? Five oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have your center. Let's say, let's say this is the, the basketball court right yeah this but is, this is my this is my hoop this is the one i'm trying this to is, play, right? well, yeah kind of so your center would be protecting the hoop you'd be the tallest guy you'd be closest to the hoop uh, okay and the, and the center is who in, a, in our nba uh, in a, a chicago bulls line? oh like, like so like longley or cartwright these are your centers. okay okay so defensively they're gonna they're gonna protect yeah okay fine they're going to be literally standing right next to it because they're big and tall. They're going to stop, yeah. stop the other team from scoring. Yeah. And, uh, you know, your power forwards are like your alternate center back because they're a little bit faster, quicker, smaller. I mean, they're still very big, but comparatively. Uh, and, and, um, and sometimes, you know, I would say some power forwards are known for the scoring. So you can see those are center backs, you know, for, known for hitting the ball. Uh, mm. But yeah, they'd be a little bit farther away. And then, uh, so the small forward, like you have your who's who's your, who's your power forward? Who's like the Chicago so Bulls that's power that's the that's Horace Grant and Rodman. Those are your power forwards. Oh, okay, so these are the power forwards, right? Yeah. They're a little bit more Kante style. Yeah, they can be Kante. Or they can be a, like a center back. So your 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 three, your small forward is so center, power forward. Small forward. Small he's forward. Is, is, is he called? Is he called small because he's like six foot three? He's like six foot seven, six foot six, something like that. So this guy's like seven foot, traditionally seven foot or six ten. So so, so so the word small has got nothing to do with his height. Well, no, because power forward is six eight to six ten, and then small forward is six six to six nine or six. Steve nine, Steve eight. Steve Kerr is only six three. Yeah, so Steve Kerr is a shooting guard. Oh, really? Yeah, Steve's Chris okay. a shooting guard. So shooting guard and point guard are going to be a little, you know, they're going to be higher up the pitch, close, farther away from the basket. They're going to be initiating the offense. Oh, really? Okay, uh, so point guard is Michael Jordan. Uh, no, point guard uh, is, um, no, it's, it's like Kerr or sometimes Scotty Pippen or BJ Armstrong. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. And so the small forward uh, is, is who and what the are they The small do? forward is Pippen. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. So, so remember, this is we're, so this is supposed to be a basketball pitch right now, right? This is right? like a defensive formation. This is like yeah, if yeah. in doubt, so defensively. This one. Yeah. So the small forward. I mean, <clears throat> it's it's hard to really say this because again, there is okay. Well, okay. Why don't I do this? This is how a two-three zone works in basketball, right? And a zone would be where your zone, a zonal defense would have center in the middle, small forward. Power forward here, point guard, shooting guard up front. That's that's it. So is that very, quite common? Is that quite common defensive tactic? Uh, so like on amateur level, most people play this style. But again, you're saying that at the professional level, professional it's just level, exploited too easily. Yes, yes, because this 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 space okay. between here is exploited too easily. Okay, so you just man. So man marking is the is the way way of man marking is the way to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so so Pippin. Um, I think we're done with Pippin. I mean, I didn't, I couldn't. It's hard to really have a guy who's like exactly the same. But I think Stevie G is and maybe a little bit Chris, but Stevie G is probably the best yeah. player here. I I always whilst I was watching it, um, I always felt between Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen, I always felt a certain similarity, maybe at least on the attacking 
mindset of Cristiano Ronaldo and Wayne Rooney in the Man United days, um, you know, back when they were in the Champions League together. Yeah. Um, just because in, in that moment, whilst Wayne Rooney is known as being like a, you know, a striker, a guy who can score a lot of goals and stuff, when Ronaldo was around, Wayne Rooney took on those defensive responsibilities on the, on the, on the wing. And so together, like, Wayne Rooney was the guy setting up Ronaldo for so many goals. You know, there was this... Yeah, there was yeah. this kind of partnership thing going on. I don't know if there's any other like partnerships in football you'd say are compar- comparable to this. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, actually, I was thinking about this. I mean, if you combined Salah and Sané into one person, and then Firmino would be Pippin, right? Because Firmino is the one that works really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the yeah, one yeah. that is the industrious one, and then the other two bagging all the goals. It's yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. So. I, I see your parallels there, there, but cool. uh, 